What's going on champs and champettes, it's FireMonkey here and welcome back to another YouTube video. So in today's video, I am completely switching the topic I originally wanted to talk about to talk about something that I know will get a way less views and way less attention, but at the same time, I just kind of want to talk about it, so I'm going to talk about it. And that is LEGO games. So you guys know them, you probably love them, you probably hate some of them. I've seen some actually like super strong opinions towards certain LEGO games like LEGO Ninjago and I'm like I did not know people could like despise a game series or a specific type of LEGO genre or whatever it may be but I guess there are people out there who are like that however I purchased a lot of LEGO games recently in fact if I go to my Steam library right now and type in LEGO I have the following LEGO games, LEGO Batman 3, LEGO DC Super Villains, LEGO Indiana Jones, LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 1 and 2, LEGO Marvel St Avengers, LEGO Mo the LEGO Movie, the LEGO Movie 2, LEGO Ninjago, LEGO Star Wars, LEGO Hobbit, LEGO Lord of the Rings. So I've got quite a few LEGO games, however there is an issue. I was like, you know what, I used to always watch Ninjago back when it like originally was airing, back when they originally planned for there to not be many more seasons and then a few years later they decided you know what let's reboot this masterpiece and I don't know what it's like nowadays I haven't watched it since the ori original conclusion to it but I was like you know what I'll play Lego Ninjago now for those who don't know I have a 1440p monitor to the left of my three monitor setup that I play video games on because you know it's the biggest monitor and simply put it I like it you know 1440p you get to see stuff in higher resolution all that glorious jazz so I'm like, 1440p LEGO sounds kind of fun. Launch LEGO Ninjago, and what was I greeted with? Nothing else than a black screen. So I was like, oh boy, how am I supposed to fix this? So I did a trick that launches it in windowed borderless mode, and what I noticed is that it launched it at like the lowest possible resolution they could have possibly ever launched it. So I was like, all right, I'll simply just, you know, flick, 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 turn the resolution up, but to my demise, it only went up to 1080p with no option to actually upscale it to 1440p so I was like all right fine I'm able to launch it launch it in like this borderless mode I'll simply go into the config of the game and I'll just change it to 1440p manually so I do that and for whatever reason while it does make the screen resolution 1440p there are tons of things that go wrong with it such as whenever you launch the game it downscales the resolution back to 1080p while still having the aspect ratio and the sizing of 1440p and if you're doing Doing windowed borderless for some reason it doesn't even put it fully on the left monitor it puts it like three-fourths on the left monitor and one-fourth on the middle monitor for some odd reason maybe that's just like you know a double monitor problem or something but it was super weird so I was like ah, I guess I can't play Ninjago cuz you know I couldn't find my controller at the time I'll install another game I'll install Lego Star Wars see if that has any support or whatever cuz Lego Star Wars is more of an iconic Lego game Installed it, did the same stuff, had the same issues, and I was like, oh, come on. So I decided, is this an issue with all LEGO games? Can I just not play at 1440p? So I installed LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2, a game that has a ton of DLC, and I actually own the DLC. And what do you know? Launch first time, perfectly fine, 1440p super like fast a good resolution all that glorious stuff launched perfectly fine but for some reason some forces but unbeknownst to me they don't want to update their old lego games to actually work and support newer computers so it's like i'm i'm sitting here struggling man i just want to play some lego games but traveler tells and warner bros interactive just don't want to update the old games and it's like, it's not that 1440p didn't exist back in, because like the LEGO Ninjago game, for example, that was released in September 22nd of 2017. And while I did not own a 1440p monitor back then, definitely in 2017 was there a wide per like variety of people who owned these type of monitors, and there was still some people who owned 4K monitors. However, 1440p monitors were popular, I would say like... I don't know, I would say they've been popular since a little bit, even before 2015, but for a game that was released after these things existed, after like 1440p was widely supported in other games, why can't you just support it natively? Like at least allow us to get it non-restricted or something, I don't know man, I just want to play some LEGO. I understand games like LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga, which was released in 2009, not supporting 1440p, but like, 
you couldn't at least made it so we could actually launch the game even if we had 1440p like you know shrink the monitor resolution which doesn't seem to actually happen in the older games in the older games if it tries full screening and it doesn't have the right resolution what it's going to do is just give you a black screen and return you back to your main screen while the game infinitely loads with a black screen in the background and so it's like I, I feel I feel maybe 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 one maybe they're working on some sort of like oh hey remaster version or something but as of right now it's just kind of like man I I wish that I could just you know play these games without having to like go through configs and all this stuff just to make it so I can actually even launch the thing and I'm fine not playing at 1440p I'm fine downgrading to 1080p but in order to actually get like a proper refresh rate you have to go full screen and if the game's not 1440p it doesn't want to full screen especially the older ones so it's just like why why will you either make it so you you'll either make it so that I can play the game but I have to actually downscale downscale like the frames and everything the refresh rate or I cannot play the game, but take the benefit of having a good refresh rate. With that said, however, I know this video is probably not going to get that many views. I mean, it's just me ranting about LEGO games. But if you have a solution to this, if you know how to play like Star Wars The Complete Saga 4K resolution or anything like that, let me know in the comments down below because I've done some research and config file editing just doesn't seem to work for me. So if you guys, if anyone out there, this is a cry for help, please. Hashtag let fire monkey play Legos. <laughs> I don't know. Don't actually try getting that trending. I doubt we would anyways. But I will see you champs and champettes tomorrow with another video. Thanks for watching and I am out. Peace.